I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to write exact value of reciprocal trigonometric ratio using compound angle formula. The question is determine exact value of cosecant 7 pi by 12. Now you can write cosecant 7 pi by 12 as 1 over sine 7 pi by 12 right. So what we will do is we will try to find the answer for sine 7 pi by 12 and then write its reciprocal. So let's begin by solving this equation using compound angle formula. Right? So we can write 7 pi by 12 as combination of uh, 4 pi by 12 plus 3 pi by 12. That is 7 pi by 12, right? Now we can simplify this. So we get sine of 4 goes 3 times. We get pi by 3 plus pi by 4. Now we can use the compound angle formula which is sine a plus b plus cos a minus b, right? So we can write this as equal to sine pi by 3 cos pi by 4 plus cos pi by 3 sine pi by 4. Now at this stage you can use the special triangles to find the exact values. So whenever the question is special triangles, I mean exact values, you should be using uh, special triangles, correct? So let's have these two standard triangles where pi by 4 triangle will have sides as you can say 1 1 square root 2 or you can say square root 2 square root 2 and 2 and the other one will be 1 2 square root 3 correct so that is your pi by 3 pi by 6 correct so these are special triangles which helps you to read the values directly now sine pi by 3 will be equals to square root 3 over 2 so we get square root 3 over 2 cos pi by 4 will use square root 2 over 2 so I have purposely used square root 2 over 2 instead of 1 over square root 2 so that we get the common denominators as 2 cos of pi by 3 will be 1 over 2 sine pi by 4 will be square root 2 over 2 right so we can now combine these terms common denominator for us is 4 here we get square root 6 plus square root 2. Now sine 7 pi by 12 is square root 6 plus square root 2 divided by 4 and therefore we can write cosecant 7 pi by 12 which is equals to 1 over sine 7 pi by 12 as equals to 4 over square root 6 plus square root 2 right so that is our answer for the question at times you can actually rationalize it and then write rationalized answer also well we'll close it here for the time being okay so thank you